Well, taking a look at the current power outages across the Bay Area, thousands spending the evening in the dark and, of course, in all of that heat. Check this out. That red area, those are the folks without power. At last check, 32,000 customers are without electricity. That includes almost 22,000 in the South Bay and 7,800 in the East Bay. Check out that East San Jose area. Lots of red there. Many of these outages caused, of course, by the heat. Not a part of potential rolling blackouts we could see at any time now. Joining us live now is Ahmed Banafa from the College of Engineering at San Jose State. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. How does the state determine whether these rolling blackouts are necessary? Well, I mean, they go three, through three phases. The phase one, which has already started on Monday, which is uh, telling people that we are really going to hit the maximum or the capacity of the grid. And phase two, which is we're going to start taking out of the reserve we have. And phase three, which is we expect in any minute now, which is the you know, rolling uh, blackout. This is how they go through you know, the decision. Yeah, I know they don't make those decisions lightly. And there's nothing more frustrating when you're out of power, you're sitting in the dark, and then you look across the street and maybe your neighbor has power. So what goes into the decision making on who gets their power shut off and for how long? Well, I mean, uh, first of all, they look at uh, something will impact the uh, human life. You know, for example, hospitals, uh, you know, uh, care, you know, uh, elderly care places, and something has to do with national security. I mean, uh, nuclear installations, mm -hmm. uh, something to do with the mechan the, some kind of economic impact. And then they, they look at the commercial places. I mean, they already shut down. You're talking about places that it's after five. And then they roll it through the minimum damages they can do, and they have it for a certain period of time. And it's easy to get it back because you know where is the you know the, the power is off. Sure. All right. We've been talking a lot about flex alerts over the last few days. Every day for about a week, California is asked to conserve between four and nine p.m. What makes this period of the day so critical, or the evening so critical? It's a good question. I mean, there are many factors. Number one is you start losing the uh, the solar power because there's less sun you have from four to nine, and also the wind starts going down. So this is another source for uh, you know for the for the power that they don't have the maximum out of it. At the top of that, people going back home, so they can start firing up their appliances, going back and trying to do you know the laundry and you know, uh, dishwashing, all this, and suddenly you have this spike of use that's going to strain the system. They're trying to tell people don't do this wait until it is less strained and then you can use it after nine o'clock i know a lot of folks are wondering just to just to clarify we're talking about major appliances we're talking about ac washer right. dryer anything that uses just a tremendous amount of power in your home and even tearing off excess lights that you may not need right Absolutely. And also don't charge your electrical car at that at that time, because this is another, you know, a new thing that when 10 years ago, we, we never talk about that. Right. Yeah, I remember that electric car. All right. Thank you so much for joining us for that great information.